Hi students, this video is the extension of the previous video. So before going to watch this video, please do watch uh, the previous video. The link of that particular video has been provided in the description box. So actually it is the part two of uh, the total number of vibrations or vibrational degrees of freedom in the molecules. That is uh, how to calculate uh, the total number of vibrations uh, in the molecules. That is whenever the IR radiation is irradiated on the molecule, how in how many ways, in how many ways uh, the molecule vibrates. And we have uh, the two types of molecules basically, the linear molecules and non-linear molecules. So for calculating the total number of vibrations in the linear molecules, we have to go with the formula 3n minus 5. So why 3n minus 5 formula should be used to calculate the total number of vibrations in the linear molecules I have clearly explained in the previous video. So in a similar fashion, we have to use uh, the formula 3n minus 6 uh, in order to calculate the total number of vibrations or uh, vibrational degrees of freedom in the non-linear molecules, where n is the number of atoms present in the molecule. So today I am going to explain this concept with you by considering uh, some examples. That is, uh, in how many ways the molecules can vibrate. That is, total number of uh, vibrations in the molecules. So first, uh, let me start with uh, HCl. 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 Now do remember students that uh, all the diatomic molecules all the diatomic molecules are linear. Keep this in the mind. All the diatomic molecules are uh, linear only. However, however, homo diatomic molecules are uh, I are inactive. So we are not going to discuss about uh, the homo diatomic molecules. In fact, we are going to discuss about the uh, hetero diatomic molecules. And in all the hetero diatomic molecules, uh, they are linear in nature linear in nature only. So example HCl. So HCl is linear. So since HCl is linear, which formula is applicable students 3 and minus 5? 3 and minus 5. Now what is the total number of uh, atoms? H and uh, Cl, right? So two atoms. So 3 into 2. 3 into 2 minus 5. So totally 6 minus 5, 1. So, 1 is a vibration, that is, vibrational degree of freedom for HCl molecule. That is, only one vibration is possible in HCl molecule. So, in a similar fashion, let us consider uh, another example. Let us take uh, HF. HF is also diatomic, diheteroatomic molecule. And so, so, definitely, it is, uh, so it is linear. So it is linear. So what is the formula which is applicable? Same formula is applicable. 3 and minus 5 students. So 3 into n is number of atoms. Hydrogen and fluorine. So two atoms are there. Minus 5 equals to 1. So one vibration is possible even for HF molecule. HF molecule. So let us consider another molecule. Another molecule such as HCN. HCN. So how the structure will be students? HCN, hydrogen cyanide, H, C triple bond, N. So this is also linear. So this is linear. So based upon the structure, we can decide whether the molecule is linear or non-linear molecule. So it is linear molecule. So since it is linear molecule, the same formula is applicable, 3 and minus 5. So 3 into, how many atoms are there? 3 atoms are there. So 3 into 3 minus 5. So 9 minus 5 equals to 4. 9 minus 5 equals to 4. So, this total number of vibrations possible in uh, HCN, that is hydrogen cyanide, is 4 whenever uh, the IR radiation is irradiated on hydrogen cyanide. So, let us go with uh, the fourth example. So, fourth example, I am taking uh, acetylene strings. So, what is the structure of acetylene? So, C triple bond uh, CH, it's acetylene. So, acetylene is also a linear molecule. So linear molecule, so since it is linear molecule, same formula is applicable, 3 and minus 5. 
3 and minus 5, so 3 into, so number of atoms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 atoms, minus 5, 12 minus 5, 7. So, the total number of vibrations possible in acetylene is 7 whenever uh, it is irradiated with uh, IR radiation. Right. So, now let us take uh, the sulfur dioxide students, sulfur dioxide. So, with the formula, we cannot uh, know uh, whether it is a linear molecule or non-linear molecule. So, in order to know whether uh, the molecule is the linear molecule or non-linear molecule, definitely we have to know the structure. We have to write the structure of the molecule. Now, what is the structure of the molecule? So, the structure of the molecule is uh, S double bond O, double bond O. So, this is the structure of uh, sulfur dioxide. So, based upon this, it is uh, non-linear. Actually, it is angular. So, since it is angular in shape, it is non-linear. So, since it is non-linear, so which formula should be used to calculate uh, the total number of vibrations in this? 3n minus 6 as it is non-linear. So, 3 into n, total number of atoms, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 into 3, 9 minus 6, uh, 3. 9 minus 6, 3. So, total number of uh, vibrations in sulfur dioxide which is non-linear molecule is three strings. So let us take uh, the another example, carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide, CO2, CO2. So definitely in order to know whether the molecule is linear or non-linear molecule, we have to write its structure. What is the structure of the carbon dioxide? C double bond O, double bond O. C double bond O, double bond O. So based upon that, uh, we can say that it is linear molecule. Since it is linear molecule, the same formula is applicable. 3n minus 5, so 3 into n is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 3 atoms, 3 minus 5, 9 minus 5, 4. So, 4 uh, vibrational degrees of freedoms are possible for uh, the carbon dioxide whenever it is, it is irradiated with IR radiation. So, coming to another example. So, let us take uh, another example, methane. So, methane. So, this is the formula of the methane. So, but uh, in order to know, in order to recognize whether it is a linear molecule or non linear molecule, definitely we have to write its structure. So, what is the structure of methane? So, the structure of methane is uh, so this is the structure of methane. So, one hydrogen will be towards the vivo, and another hydrogen is away from the vivo, and two hydrogens will be in the plane. It is tetrahedral. So, since it is tetrahedral, so definitely we can say that it is non linear molecule. So, since it is non linear molecule, which formula is applicable? 3n minus 6. 3n minus 6. So, 3 into number of atoms, 1 plus 4, 5 minus 6. 15 minus 6, 9. 15 minus 6, 9. So, methane vibrates. 9 times, that is uh, in the 9 ways, wherever uh, it is irradiated with the uh, IR radiations. 9 ways, 9 minus. That is, total number of uh, vibrations in the methane or uh, 9 whenever it is irradiated with IR radiation. So, let us uh, discuss with uh, another example. So, let us take the benzene. So, benzene. So, benzene. So, by its structure, it is amply clear that it is non-linear molecule. So, since it is non-linear molecule, what is the formula applicable, students? So, what is the molecular formula? What is the molecular formula for this? C6H6. C6H6. So, C6H6. So, as it is non-linear molecule, the formula applicable to calculate its vibrational degrees of freedom is 3n minus. 6 so 3 into again n is total number of atoms so carbon 6 hydrogen 6 totally 12 atoms minus 6 so 3 to the power 36 minus 6 30 that is benzene can vibrate in 30 ways whenever it is irradiated with the, the IR radiation so this is about uh, the calculation of uh, or the total number of vibrations or uh, the vibration degrees of freedom with the help of these two formulas, how these two formulas uh, 
or obtain i have clearly explained in the previous video so before going to watch this video please do watch this video so thanks for watching